Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Excel Video 94. I want to demonstrate one more trick from the Developer tab today. And I thought about deleting this scroll bar and I thought, no, I'm going to leave it in there so I, I'll show you how that you can use multiple controls if you need to to do something. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want to make our little G14 friend a little bit bigger. So there's the 12. Remember if we make this a 6, we can do that or we can scroll this way and make it 3. There's lots of things we can do there. Let's add another control. What I'm going to do now is back to the Developer tab, Insert. And what we'll do today is what they call Spin Button. And what we're going to do is do something like about that. And now we've got little buttons next to it, and we're going to format the control. And as you've come to expect by now, the size will lock the aspect ratio so our buttons look right. I'm not too worried about protection and properties. Let's just do the control. Current value, let's make it six. The minimum value, I gotta have at least one month in my chart. I don't want 30,000 months. Let's say two years worth. And what happens every time I push the button? I wanna change by one. Cell link is my same G14. And we click okay. So now, because I put a six in there, it's gonna start me back at six. And as you're gonna expect now, we gotta click outside so I'm done formatting it, and then the buttons will work. Up from three, up to 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And notice what happens, notice what this uh, scroll bar does when I move these spin buttons. See, it's moving, it moved all the way over there, and if I move it a step at a time, this will move a step at a time. You can control um, this G14, with either the spin buttons or the scroll bar, and either way, your chart's going to update automatically, the title goes automatically, data range goes automatically, and when you add new data at the end, it's going to get it all for you. It's one more trick to make your uh, chart and the way you manipulate it just look a little bit more professional. Somebody that doesn't need to know any programming at all can just, if you've got this and or this on your chart, it's very easy for them to say, ah, I want to see the last 12 months, three clicks, there you go, and... Uh, it's a very powerful way to change a bunch of different things, not just charts, but you could use this if you're doing budgets or what if or a variety of different analysis from the developer tab. Hope that was helpful for you. We're going to do one more uh, kind of whiz-bang fancy thing next time. Thanks for watching.